Well, let's see. Just getting that on in case somebody decides the song request. So I can make it active like I did not yesterday. I have to click that. I don't know if that file is new. Weird. Preview of my Twitch page won't load anything. Alright, I guess I'll just let it sit there loading. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it wasn't even moving yet. Uh... I don't know where I want the mic now. <laughs> I moved it from where it was, and it was kind of fine before dude what the hell i haven't like touched my controller since i stopped streaming yesterday it's like very strongly active to the right for some reason I'm holding all the way left. What the fuck? Okay, maybe I won't even play this. I was thinking that I would be playable. I can't believe it got worse. Well, I just wasn't touching it. Okay, I just came out here because I wanted to see what I would do. I can run forward. Like, what the hell? Like, I can't roll towards the right without it, like, being active still. I'm just figuring <laughs> this out. Am I going to be able to play? I have no idea. Here, we'll just, uh... We'll just attempt to go for now. I think I got it fixed, maybe. But it doesn't make any sense. It was literally just sitting there since yesterday when I unplugged it. <laughs> I don't know how it could have gotten worse. And also, I don't know why my player won't load. Hey, 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 
I, I am less scared. I think now since I'm able to play normally a little, I'll, I'll actually be able to keep playing this today. I messaged the place I bought the controller from on eBay, and it's past the like refund window, but they said they will fix the joystick if I send it to them. So that's what I'm going to do. And I was worried about it not having an issue when, I, when it gets there, but there's literally no way that it won't. <laughs> if I just started up today and it like was holding right, like far, far right. Like I didn't even touch the joystick before I plugged it in. Didn't grab the ledge there. Crap. Man. I just didn't side hop. I was trying to inch a little bit closer to the right. I must press the reset on the Wii. <laughs> so bad. Okay, that was slow, but it'll be fine. so slow about that.
I didn't make it. What the f what the hell's going on with me? I thought that was definitely like on top of red rupee. I don't know why my like headphone headset cord feels like it's in a really weird spot. I don't know why I keep reaching over to the Wii. I haven't been resetting the Wii usually with my right hand. Controller was fighting me a little bit there, trying to go to the right. Dude. I just missed like a side op timing, I don't know how. I almost missed. How slow is this? Oh, lower now, thanks. That's the one I don't mess up on. Dude. Just could not press whatever it's called side hop or side roll plate ESS position because I started walking randomly I don't think that that actually messed anything up but it definitely didn't help
Again, accidental side out to the left at the beginning. I really don't know what's going on there. Although, it could be the controller and not me. <laughs> now that I know that the controller has huge issues. Why am I like going to split? Understand. I don't think that was the controller. I think that I just somehow did that. I literally never fell down there at all the entire time until today that I've been doing this, like practicing and running. <laughs> so I don't understand why that's happening now. Oh, okay, yeah, so I'm in an ESS position. Is why I'm not side hopping, potentially, because, you know, why not? I forget, though, if you're in ESS, are you supposed to side roll? I thought you were supposed to side roll. Style with the first. How are you? <laughs> nice first. When I initially loaded up today, I was gonna, you know, do runs. And then I, I had a very strong right input for literally no reason. Why Zert Panis? Huh? <laughs> oh. Like what? What? I don't know if I just pressed up too early. And it didn't let me turn around. It's only been 20 minutes. I should probably stop playing OOT, to be honest. <laughs> like, it's, it's extremely bad. <laughs> I don't think that the right input was because I was holding the joystick at all when I turned on the OT. You're surprised I'm playing with this controller. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> There's no defense for that. I just want to play OT, that's all. <laughs> I guess I could uh, try a knot on this. Mm. I don't like that option either. Seems like the worst you've seen, to be honest. Yeah, it's more of a I want to play rather than. It's like I want to play more than I hate this controller. <laughs> Which is a lot. I do hate this controller a lot. Uh, 
but the place I bought it from, I messaged them about a return. And they said, well, a refund or like exchange or something, I think is what I said, a refund or exchange. And they said it's past the return window. But if I ship it to them, they'll fix the stick. So I'm still planning on getting an N64 controller and running with that and seeing how I like that. But I will ship this off so that they can fix. Like, why am I missing that? That's just me. I'm just missing the hole. But I'm gonna I'm gonna ship it to them today. So this is like the last time I'm gonna try to run with this controller. But I wanted to play OOT. <laughs> But yeah, I, um, after I did the mega side hop, uh, to the Bolero skip yesterday, I was watching the VOD back because Ash just told me she sent a copy pasta around like six, my, our time, I think. But I didn't see it. But while I was watching it back, I was around the Bolero area and I was like, oh yeah, wasn't I, didn't I have a, a stick issue here? And, you know, since it was on GZ, I looked, and, uh, I think the stick was registering an input of, like, 50 to the left without me touching it. Like, I know for a fact I was not holding the stick then, but it was literally halfway pressed, <laughs> at least that it thought. Like, that's, that's definitely the worst stick drift I think I've ever heard of like I think the only way you could reproduce uh, stick drift that bad is if you like threw the controller <laughs> and like broke the analog stick forgot I need to do that It's not gonna work. It's also not gonna work. <laughs> Almost missed the timing window. Did a couple less rolls there, so I didn't like screw up badly. Yeah, I knew that was missing. Okay. Cool. I can keep going. Can we get the cocos today? I have to do something weird with this stick to make sure it doesn't screw me over here. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm just gonna try to get this Wes and see if I can even do it. Cause I don't know if I'm missing it or if the stick is screwing me over. Okay. I think I'm missing it. I think that confirms it. Still make it cool. I don't think I've been red entering CAC with this PV, but that was close. Woo! 
Yeah, see, the, like, then, while I'm playing with this controller, there's, like, super long stretches where it behaves normally. But I also, like, sometimes it's behaving normally because I, like, have to be holding full inputs, like, the whole time, I think. Like, if I wasn't holding fully to, like, you know, any direction, I think it would be acting up. I could've got another roll. At least these cuckoos were decent. <laughs> oh, come on. Dude, really? I slightly missed. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I think I might have had like a fast cuckoo's there. If I only lost eight ish seconds and I had to like. Wait for the Coco to run around and not be in the pen. I think those actually decent Cuckoos until the end of missing the last throw somehow. Missing the last throw. I'm already becoming an SM64 runner and I haven't even tried it. That was also something I wanted to try. I think I've said before. But that's gonna have the same issue as this for now. so many times. Nice. Got a boost. I think this is really long. Well, I guess I was like 20 seconds ahead a lot of the time coming here. Text skip without pulling sword. I didn't press sword. Can you press target? So that's what I did by accident. <laughs> or was 
because I just on the very side of it somehow and that doesn't count. I was very close. <laughs> I decided to start doing that slightly differently because... I don't know why I keep almost bonking the wall now when I was just doing the normal like upright roll. I got that. my brain up. So I wasn't expecting to actually get to go up. <laughs> That's like gold. How fast actually was it? Seventeen, okay. Just like feels slightly wrong. Yeah, I took a step in between the backflips. Damn it. Oh well. Well, getting there. Okay. 
got that far without the controller screwing me, so maybe, maybe we can still PB with this. Oh, I need to reset the file. <laughs> if I can get a PB on the last day of doing runs for a bit, that would be fun. I feel like that feels really bad having to walk forward that much, but I also feel like once I get to the sword, the time's actually going to not be that bad. Yeah, I thought so. I even think I split a bit late. Almost walked too close to the corner. Ouch. Do I like this category so far? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I think uh, the most painful part before I got the adapter was like adjusting the B1 skip for the visual cue. But, uh, after getting the adapter, the worst part is my controller fighting me. <laughs> but, uh, once I, like, learned everything, I think I was enjoying myself a lot more. This controller's gonna make me hate OOT. <laughs> nah, it'll be fine. This is the last time I'm using it, I swear. I'm going to go ship it off to the people I bought it from, and hopefully they fix the joystick. Then I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll keep it, I guess, as like a controller, and then we'll see how I like the uh, N64 controller for running. That was really weird. I said like a, a really bad angle. I don't think this is going to work, but we can try. Okay, it worked. I will learn wrong muscle memory. Uh, well, I think... I was thinking that too, but I think for the most part, when, like, the controller's working normally, I'm doing, like, normal things. Like, for the most part, while I'm playing, and then I don't say anything about the controller, uh, it's, like, behaving completely fine. So my muscle memory is alright. Unless you mean switching from, like, GameCube to N64. I'm just missing ESS now. Wait, don't bother. Oh, so wait, were you talking about switching controllers? I feel like at this point of me playing OOT like speedrunning, my muscle memory isn't super important yet. I only say that because I feel like it's not important because uh, I think what's important for me doing stuff now is like learning how to do it. 
but I haven't been playing that long so I can like unlearn the muscle memory I do have which isn't a lot <laughs> yeah so I don't like know a ton you still side hop pad yeah it's like it's like small things like that it's like you eventually just stop doing it I don't know, I can't think of like a really good example in Hollow Knight, but there were like things like that in Hollow Knight that like I was like I've been speedrunning this game for, you know, 800 hours. Why do I do this? And then 100 hours later, I no longer did said thing. I honestly, I really thought I was too close to the wall there. But yeah, so like some things you just eventually stop doing or like start doing correctly and I think it, it sometimes it's literally just like experience of playing the game <laughs> it's really strange because even still after speedrunning a game like don't think of playing a game as like learning to play the game I just think of it as like you know I'm just playing it and it's like wow wait I learned something hold on Gonna talk to the sign in PB. OT has a lot of little things, yeah. I feel like that's what is partly satisfying about OT and why people like to run it. Because it just has so many like small details that you don't notice. Like if you're just watching somebody play, you won't realize that they did something very small. Like fix like a lineup or something. You didn't know what people were looking for. Yeah. Like some setups, they just, it looks like they just move their camera arbitrarily. They're, you're like, yeah, sure, whatever. They move their camera there, it works. Makes sense. I, uh, I made a setup in Deku for lighting the stick, kind of, kind of setup. It basically is exactly what Ash has told me, but just from a different spot. It would make sense when you see what they see and they explain it, yeah. Like, why did I forward roll there? I'm like missing ESS completely now. Okay, give me a sec. I didn't really see. Wait. Was I holding Z by accident? Are you supposed to be releasing Z? Does that matter? One ESS turn right. <laughs> Not gonna bother trying to fix that. Oh, wait, I'm confused. Do you mean I did release Z? I'm talking to the owl because I was gonna reset anyway. <laughs> I probably should for like brain reasons go into CAC with that Wes. If you retarget, you hold the same position. Uh I've heard retarget <laughs> before, but I never know exactly what it means. Rather than resetting the cam. Hmm. Like, how fast do you have to retarget? I never know how that works. <laughs> no, 
was strange. When you target or shield, you won't angle roll. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, no, I think I understand now. I like didn't really see to roll. Yeah, I don't know why I'm I think I've been doing that a lot, actually. <laughs> I think today I've been doing that for some reason. Now that you say it, it like I'm thinking more about my stick going to be messing me up than how I'm supposed to do stuff. <laughs> I'm like, I hope my stick doesn't make me ESS turn. <laughs> And I forgot to release Z, because I can't ESS turn <laughs> while I'm holding Z. So that makes sense. I think, I think you definitely solved why I was doing that. I don't know why exactly, other than what I said. Definitely a kind of silly reason to do that. I was trying to fix my angle, <coughs> but... That's one of the times that you notice the stick drift, because it's happened like a lot. It's very consistent when I'm doing that. Uh, if I like have to fix the angle that I'm going towards the, uh, I can't think of what they're called, crawl space. Uh, a lot of things just click in OT. You do them casually without realizing how or why. Yeah. Yeah, I had to try pretty hard to ignore the M. I was like, does M mean something? It's like, wait a minute, uh, am I missing something? But yeah, uh, what I was saying though before, like here, when I'm fixing my angle, like, even then it happened. Like, if I have to, like, go right, I'm trying to see if I can get it to happen again, see how long it happens for. It's like, I know when you flick a direction, like, you can do a single turn, but that one didn't. Your keyboard is in a weird spot right now, you're not exactly set up correctly, yeah. Let's see it happen again there. Like, I learned that I could do this. Just, like, flick in the middle of, like, a roll. Just, like, flick once, and it would just turn you one time. But sometimes my stick is drifting, so then I keep going that way. But you can see like the difference, like stick drift, no stick drift, no stick drift, no stick drift, none, none, none. So when it does happen, it really screws me up. There was a lot of stick drift. It's impossible to diagnose most issues. Yeah, it's like, it's very small things that happen all the time. <laughs> it's so annoying. But as long as that doesn't happen, then I can do the run. I'll be happy if I at least, like, get to Goma again. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll that definitely help a lot with a new controller, too. The reason I also want to try the N64 controller... Like, kind of two reasons. So I think I explained the, like, double chew has thing... ...while I was doing the Ganonless, like, stuff I learned yesterday. Uh, while I have choose on Z, it's really hard to, for me at least, to press Z and one frame later press R. Did I configure my adapter? Yeah, I did some things. I don't know if I did it right. <laughs> but I did something with it. Hmm? 
I showed you the ZNR press. Oh yeah. Okay, I did remember. Yeah, so like while I have bomb shoes on Z, I don't know if I'm sure people do it. But it's definitely much more awkward than like on an N64 controller. You just press down and then you don't have to press on the next frame another button with the same finger. My adapter settings might also be the issue. Maybe. I don't think that they would be causing that much stick drift though, would they? I don't know. Should I, before sending it to them? I forgot to equip sword, but it's fine. I figured that out the last time. Yeah, maybe they do with improper dead zone settings. Yeah, I didn't mess with the dead zone settings too much. Uh, I kind of left them default. Unplug my adapter and see how it feels. I will do that as soon as I fail this Hess or Wes. As soon as I fail it, I'll get right on it. But, uh, yeah, if that does end up being the issue, I won't know how to fix it, I don't think. I'll have to do weird stuff. <laughs> Alright, ask P-Man. He does have an adapter, doesn't he? Do you have an adapter? And play on GameCube controller, or do you play on N64 controller? Man, I'm really... Ah, uh, you just don't use it. Okay. I don't know what's up with me. I just cannot get an ESS. Wait, what happened? It felt weird as soon as you plugged it in. Oh, <laughs> literally right next to you. That's funny. <laughs> well, yeah, if you have a ton of muscle memory without the adapter. Like, I think that was part of what P-Man was saying. Why am I missing this so much? Like, I cannot do it. And never mess with it. <laughs> I think that that'll be fine. Apparently not. Did I watch Gochimon's videos? Uh, what did he have? Was it? I feel like you said something about a Hess tutorial. Yeah, I didn't watch it because uh, I didn't practice any like Hessing or like try to do it again. I didn't want to mess with it with this controller. I'm just really... When you hold ESS too far, Link reacts a bit different. Hmm. I'm not holding enough. Hmm. So there's a way to tell how you messed it up without knowing exactly. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I'm messing this up so much, though. I don't get it. Don't talk to me, sign. Too far. 
Honestly, wait, did I even get the jump slash though? Did I miss the jump slash? Oops. Wasn't sure about that lineup. But and that would that be t not enough if he goes like to the left? Because I think when you said too far, I went right. When you whip back, it should be too far. Why can I not do it today? <laughs> like, I'm not even close. When he fizzles out, it's too short. I'm just gonna, on purpose, be short. I don't know if that was even good enough. I don't know if you have to be holding a slight position or something. Uh, also, while we're at it, what if I... Just like reset the ESS mapping stuff, dead zones. It seemed like I let go of ESS there. Yeah, I just didn't hold it at all there. <laughs> I didn't know how that would work. So, wait, was that a fizzles out? Kind of? I finally got it again. Don't have a save state. <laughs> Oops. I just didn't press left in time. Should I? I'm gonna do what Style said though. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try to run a couple times without the adapter and see if I have issues. Because that'll tell me if it's the controller, at least. Too far. The last one was too far. It's from 8 to 26, yeah. I'm at like 29 on the stick. Damn it. <laughs> what if you're like way too far? Does it react like even like in a different way then? Not really. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say that would also be helpful if that was true. <laughs> if like you were holding... I still don't know what that is going on. <clears throat> out of ESS is out of ESS for the most part. Yeah, okay. Uh, side question. 
Is there a reason I side hop left there sometimes? I feel like... I don't know if I'm remembering wrong, but I feel like I was having stick drift before the adapter. <laughs> because I feel like I remember when I would turn my camera in C up was the main time I remember it happening. I like having that on before Forest, at least. You've been looking away. It was like 60 before it act reacts differently. Mm -hmm. You watch more carefully. All right. I don't even remember which part of what I asked or which part of what I said you might watch more carefully for. split. Oops. I'm trying to remember all of the spots where I had like oops, super bad drift. I think my camera started turning to the right here for some reason. Like, it would start turning further right. So that didn't happen. I don't know if I'm gonna get ESS without the adapter. <laughs> I was like, barely consistent at it at all. Nope. Try again. If I don't get it in two tries, I won't do it the next time. Okay. Camera angle are terrible in OOT. Yeah. Understandable. Honestly, I feel like I should, uh... So I would use walls and setups, yeah. I think I might, um... I might run around like I was doing here and see if I the like flicking the stick does the same thing. Most are your friends for any setup, yeah. Although sometimes I'm never sure, if, like, well, not sometimes, or not never, but like sometimes I'm unsure if I got like the angle from the wall. I have to like finick around with it. Okay, yeah. So that time. I did this, but it kept walking up left for a very long time. And I'm holding up. <laughs> so all I'm doing, all I'm doing is taking this and flicking it. Well, I flicked it too far back that time, but I'm taking it, flicking it like this and going back. So, like I was saying, what that looks like normally is like that. Just a little tiny direction change. But sometimes it's looking like that. So I don't know if it's the adapter. I think it's the stick, but I think the adapter might have been exaggerating it slightly. Maybe. I don't know. Like that time, like any time that I don't just immediately keep going back, like towards the direction I was going, like this, like almost the direction I was going, it's the stick drifting. Looks like it's both. Yeah, stick drift and the adapter was exaggerating it a bit. But I think that might just be because of how the adapter works. Like that time I ran way too far to the left. So, I'm going to plug the adapter back in. <laughs> or stick and ESS adapter, yeah. 
So I think that if I'm going to continue playing OOT today, it'll still go better with the adapter than without it. <laughs> I could not go for the West, but ugh. If I have a P.O. box, you'll send me a decent GameCube controller. The thing is, I don't know if I, like, since I decided I wanted to try an N64, like, I don't know if I care about having <laughs> a decent GameCube controller yet until I decide if I don't want to use the N64 controller. But, uh, I'm waiting on Ashes to see. Because the thing that she sent me before, I think I said before, uh, send me like a seller on eBay for an N64 controller, and oop, yeah, that time like went super far right. <laughs> but um, she sent me a seller on eBay for an N64 controller, but they aren't selling or they're away, which I didn't know you could like set, but it makes sense. Uh, they're away until the end of November. You have six you don't use. You have six. That's crazy. Wait, you have six N64 controllers, or do you have six GameCube controllers? Or both? If you say both, that'd be insane. You have six N64, seven GameCube. <laughs> that is a lot of controllers. <laughs> do you like have consoles and have people come over and like play games and stuff. I feel like that would make the most sense to me. Yeah, that's cool. You mod controllers? Oh, okay. That's another reason, I guess, to have multiple controllers. Your brother's a world champion in fighting games. Specific fighting game? Or like multiple? That's one game that, or that's like one game genre, I'll say. Because, <laughs> I was going to say game, but that's not like broad enough, I feel like. Fighting games in general, I've never played enough to be like good at. Guilty Gear used to be top 1k. SFV. I don't know if that, if I know what that means. <laughs> I think I gained time there because I split late on the sword split. Okay, Street Fighter 5. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've heard of Guilty Gear. I could back walk, but I could also go for the west. I feel like I kind of want to do runs. Alright. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like I want to do runs, but <laughs> I also want to do the west. I was going to just back walk if I started missing stuff. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> it feels so good when you get it, but also when you don't get it, it's like, wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Come here, Coco. Don't not do a run because of one trick, by the way. Oh, no, I mean, uh... I was just going to back walk instead of going for the west. Cuz I don't think if I go for the west, I don't know if I have time to make it with the back walk. If I miss. I 
At least it might it might depend on how efficient I am in Zora's River, and I'm not that efficient yet. <laughs> I was wondering where the fourth Cucko was, and then they both walked up to me at the same time. Is that good enough? Cool. You mean, mean that specifically, just in general? OT is unforgiving tr trick difficulty? Yeah. I do know that from seeing like all the run killing tricks that exist so far in the different speedruns I've watched. Some tricks look hard and cool and are so easy. <laughs> yeah. I think the one I was thinking about most recently is because I started watching Spittle some, and I don't know what runs you do corpse push in, but that does not look like an easy trick, especially if somebody who's like world record level is buffering it like four times in different spots. I don't know if it requires like four buffers. That's scary. Course push is the one trick you learned and won't even do in a rando. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like there's some things that are hard enough that they're not worth doing in a randomizer. Did I split? I did split cuckoos. And I saved two seconds. Let's go. You have a different setup that's 10 seconds slower. But people won't do it because it's slower and too easy. Is it, um... How much time does it lose to not do it, though? I imagine it loses a lot to, like, get the bomb choose a different way. Damn. Almost got the jump slash. So that trick is absurd and saves 10 seconds. No, thank you. Maybe 8 seconds. You link me the alt. I haven't even, like, I don't even understand what's going in the not alt. <laughs> I'm glad I started not sucking at hitting that platform. I don't know when that happened, but I started actually landing on that platform. I am also glad, Style, that you mentioned that it could be the adapter before I ended up sending it off to the other people. And they were like, what the hell, there's nothing wrong with this controller. <laughs> Possibly. But now, now that I know that it's doing it without the adapter too, then now I know for sure that it's stick drift and that it's like bad. <laughs> Hey, maybe that's what I'll have to do. If you send me your alt corpse push, I'll just, I'll look at, I think Arthur has a tutorial on corpse push. I think I saw that in his list of, his like, so many tutorials. I think they're in the playlist he has on YouTube, it's like 75 videos. Yeah, my stick is more sensitive. Yeah, I think that was what I was going to say, and then I got distracted and never finished the sentence. <laughs> I was gonna say that make it makes sense that the drift would be worse with the adapter because it's it basically makes the input matter more. For those lower inputs. So my range is extended. So basically it's like 6 to 29, instead of 8 to 26. Mm. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know like, if I could 
potentially make it behave almost normal by fixing the dead zone. But that, that wouldn't be a fix I would want to keep for long anyway. But that one thing in Fire Temple, or not Fire Temple, in uh, Death Mountain Crater that I saw yesterday while I was looking for Ash's uh, copy pasta that she claimed to have sent. Like, that was really bad. It literally... I, uh, I don't even think I flicked the stick. I just, like, I was holding back on the stick and I released it. And then it re registered, like, halfway to the left. Don't, don't, don't. Don't. <laughs> I feel like that skull specifically really likes to target me when it's not looking at me. Okay, yeah. See, it took me, like, a couple targets to actually target the wall correctly. Oop. I think I need to get another nut at some point. Oop. That's not good. Let's get the other nut now. I don't remember who I saw do that fast way of killing the Baba. But that definitely is helpful to know. The jab and then the quick vertical slash. Should have been lined up well enough. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to damage down that much. We're just gonna... We're just gonna grab one of those because I'm scared. Oh, that missed. Oh, I needed to take one more damage, damn it. <laughs> Which is a whole notch, really. Hmm. You can link you, your sender for GameCube controller. But you'll send me a GameCube controller and N64 if I want. I feel like I feel bad if I let you send me something like that. I would rather, like, if you sent me, like you said, the, uh, who you get them from. I'd feel better about it if I had bought it myself. Oop. Why am I? <laughs> I was just pulling the stick down way too far to look at Goma. I can just like walk into Goma, right? Take a take a quick damage. Okay. It's definitely not ideal, but I'll take it. Would that be faster than... Would it always be faster to tank on Goma than the Scrubs? Unless I need to like half a heart, I guess, on the Scrubs. Will that be fine? Will that work? Oh. Okay, well, I'm here anyway. <laughs> gonna lose a bunch of time. If I go red during this, I'm just gonna reset. Why is that happening? Is that stick drift potentially? What? Oh, well, that is a reset. Never mind, because I didn't save. Um... What is the reason that the continue was on the right option? Because <laughs> I had that happen once before. 
Like, shouldn't it always be default on yes? Is that a stick drift thing? That it's like putting a right input and switching to the no option? Because that would make more sense. The drift there is really killing me. I think I got a lot better at adjusting my angle towards the crawl space, but now the stick drift is like, nope. Like I adjust myself like one little turn and then it's like, all right, you want to walk right? I don't think that that's angles like that good, but where's the crawl space? There it is. Like that time, I was 100% holding right and I side hopped left. I didn't realize it's been a whole hour since I was like... <laughs> oh. What? I just randomly walked to the left. But I was gonna say, I can't believe it's been like a whole hour since I was like, thinking I was like, am I not gonna be able to play OOT <laughs> today? <laughs> so I think I said something like 20 minutes in. I was like, this is not... This is not going. But at least I've gotten a time that was 40 seconds ahead. At Slingshot. So I can still make it work. As long as I don't screw up uh, any other part. Although I will not take blame for screwing up that last run that was past Goma. I think that's good. Barely. Oh yeah. But what I was gonna say style about the corpse push alternate idea that you have, the alternate strat. I was gonna say I'll, I was gonna watch Arthur's tutorial on like regular corpse push so I actually know what's happening. And then I can watch your one. Your style of doing it. Oops. Come on, let me in the hole. Please? Uh. Definitely lost uh, a second or two to that. <laughs> Like something like got in my eye. Did you miss something? Uh, what was I saying? Uh, I was saying if you link the alternate corpse push strat that you have, I was gonna. The reason I was mentioning Arthur's like tons of tutorial videos was I was going to. Uh, what's the word? Watch his corpse push one because I'm pretty sure he had one while I was like looking through to see which ones were like relevant for me to look at without like, you know, doing the runs that they might be in. Oh, come on. So I was trying to look to see which ones are relevant, and I think while I was looking I saw a corpse push one.
<laughs> I lost like four seconds. Oh no, that's bad. But yeah, so so my my plan is to watch Arthur's one, so I know what normal corpse push looks like. Like why when I was seeing Spittle do it, why you pause buffer at those points that you do. I feel like since you're pause buffering so much, there has to be like a ton going on. Oh, come on. There we go. ESS or did I mess up? I don't actually know. The setup is slower but very precise, so don't do it with my controller. SESS turned. It just uses extra inputs. Mm. Yeah, I know. Um, I think that was. I think I talked about it. Uh. The other day, uh, while I was saying something, maybe it was yesterday, was it just yesterday? Uh, while I was saying the thing about Arthur's GSR video thing, why beginners shouldn't run that instead of running like Ganonless instead, or something else that's more beginner friendly. Uh, and I think Corpse Push was one of the things that he mentioned. I guess if you don't get it, it kills the run. Yeah, so he was saying, like, that's a really hard trick that a beginner shouldn't have to be learning yet, I guess. <laughs> I wonder how many of these resets are because of the stick. That one was on me, but, like, I wonder how many of these have become the things. It's very frame precise. Yeah, that's what I assumed looking at it. Because just sitting... Like the initial setup. When Spittle... I guess you wait for the skull to turn around in a certain way. The hard visual cue. Using the skull's legs. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> Probably one of the weirdest visual cues I've heard of yet.
I don't, I don't know. It happens often that an adapter is messed up. Crap. It might be a play adjustment to be perfect. Ah, okay. That's so sad. Getting the West and then missing that. I think I was thinking too much. I was like, every time I'm slightly panicked about when I should be releasing Z to make the turn to CAC is when I mess that up. They're all different. Yeah. I, I can understand that. I'm getting better at when to do that backflip. I feel like that's such a little thing to be happy about, but I'll take it. Oop. I almost missed. And I almost walked off the side. My cuckoos are already improving. I, uh... I don't know if you were here when I said it. I was practicing cuckoos. So I'm pretty sure I completed 40 attempts at Cuckoo's, which is my best time is like 2 minutes and like 19 seconds, I think. So 40 complete attempts is uh, a lot of time doing Cuckoo's. 80 minutes. Like noticeably. Yeah, I think it helped uh, watching the Ganonless tutorial with Arthur explaining what you're doing with Cuckoo's. So I, I know now where I'm supposed to, like, try to throw them and why, <laughs> and like what position I should be in. And I think also watching, you know, tons of Hundo all the time, seeing like glitchy, like laws. I think I don't really watch anyone else do Hundo that often. But I feel like just watching other people doing it. It's kind of stuck in my head. Can I pick up a cuckoo, please? <laughs> like, I had two cuckoos just standing in front of me, and Link was like, I am not picking those up. I was really winging cuckoos at first when I started, though. <laughs> As I think most beginners probably do. I feel like most runners kind of focus on certain runs <laughs> and why they're good. Yeah. They uh they just like to have one run they're really good at. I think that's common like Hollow Knight runners do that a lot too. Like they usually run a category. But I like running, like, tons of categories. It'll probably take me longer to do that in OOT than it would in Hollow Knight. Since OOT... Well, Hollow Knight is, like, no major glitches, but it's... Like, there's basically no glitches at all. Essentially. So it's kind of just casually playing fast. So you just get better at what you were already doing when you played casually. But I feel like OOT, even the simple things, I didn't do casually. <laughs> like, I don't think I did a single, like, quick jump slash. Quick draw jump slash? Is that what you're supposed to call it? I still don't remember what the name of that is. But I don't think that there was a single time I ever did one. Just barely. Walk too far? I think that was stick drift actually that made me walk too far. I think we can still be like 40 seconds ahead though. If I don't, if I'm not screwing this split up too bad.
Damn, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I was just annoyed at the Baba, so I hit it. I really hate that. That camera angle that you get. That makes you walk away so easily from the vines rather than directly towards it. I also feel like I have gotten decently good at that from Ash is just being like, you should side hop, it's free. Because it is kind of free. Dang, okay, not 30 seconds ahead. 10? Or 20 still ish, maybe, hopefully. 20-ish. 19 will count in my 20-ish estimate. No, don't. Okay. Barely stopped in time. actually messed up. I feel like I messed that up. Or, I don't know if I had the right angle initially. Can I backflip, please? Jeez, what the hell? Dude, what? not move the camera now in a normal way. Yeah, okay. There's definitely a stick drift sometimes. It's like really annoying. Uh like after I do a roll and a what's it called? Backflip. Like that's why I was rolling into the wall instead of backflipping was because I still had some sort of up input, I think. This controller is crazy. I don't know what that was. I like already turned to the left before I did anything. I think if I didn't even like input up, I like blanked on what I was doing. But if I had input up, wait, what if, wait, that's not what I meant to do. 
What if I just do runs on GZ now instead? What if I do runs on GZ so then style can actually tell what's happening somewhat? Because it is pretty bad when I let go of the stick and then it like doesn't go back to neutral and takes a while to go back to neutral. Like that's probably the most annoying part. Okay. I don't know why I'm splitting. I guess I'm going to split just so I know. I won't submit this run. See, now I'm, I had an ESS position. I had to fix that. I haven't touched the stick yet. It's moving. I actually think this is just a good idea in general. <laughs> that style said <laughs> just to do the runs on here. So even then I can at least look down there and be like, okay, that's why I'm moving in a dumb direction. Yeah, so what the heck? That 100% I just saw I was inputting full right and I side hopped left. Do you have to wait a second to side hop after the backflip? Is that like what it is? Like you just cannot? I don't understand. Yeah, like look at how much left input I had. Like that's me putting the stick to the left and letting it snap back to the center. it up left for no reason and yeah I feel like that's definitely what's going on I was talking about the random left side hop I think I need to just wait a sec after back flipping it's a weird thing times now. Can I turn around? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just not- I wasn't waiting enough to turn around. I did that like one time and I was like, alright, now I need to make sure that I, uh, that I actually take like a step after getting up the vines. How's it getting that input? I don't know. For a second I thought that was down, but my brain's just not working. Thank you. 
That's close. I like practicing the West on this because it is nice to know how close you are to missing it. It was almost too high. I think that'll work. Push me around the corner. Alright. Trust that Coco. That's not good. <laughs> Little freestyle. I think that's good enough. The other one stopped short, didn't it? That Coco's wasn't ideal, but at least I didn't lose like a ton of time.
Barely not the right way. I actually think I got better at mashing, which does make sense. But I didn't think that I would just like randomly improve at that very fast. Can I side hop please? Thank you. <laughs> I like, wasn't getting the left input because I wasn't putting it in long enough or fast enough, I don't know. time. I swear every time I fix my angle I mess up going up this thing. Head again. <laughs> Barely. I feel like the fact that I can be like 40 seconds ahead at this point, 10 seconds feels like barely ahead. I don't think that that thing can hit me. I shouldn't have let that one hit me, actually. Damn it. Okay. I was gonna say, we'll just, we'll just wait. Uh, don't need to lose more time.
Okay. I don't know how much of a gold that was. Is that a real gold yet? From doing that skip? No, barely. Barely golded at all, actually. I'm supposed to side hop times, I think, was the setup I found for quickly lighting the stick. Now I have to slowly light the stick. I think this seems too far back. Glad I'm wasting time lining this up when I don't even think it's going to work. might not work. Okay, no. That was late. Yep. <laughs> Damn. When did I gold that my some of the best went down four seconds? I think it was four. I don't think Link actually moved, but it did flick the stick. <laughs> I was trying to make sure I didn't have any random input like that. see myself standing in front of the crawl space.
Honestly, thought that that might be too much of an angle. Dude. Why? Why? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm also losing my voice. I hate this. Dude. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I have to go get more water, because... My, like, throat is dying, apparently. I'll be back. back. I don't know if you guys can actually hear me that well. I also forgot I never made that. But alright. I'm gonna try to at least get the wrong work again.
I don't remember if I need to... I didn't have a death on that one. And I definitely made it to the wrong warp. I'm trying to shake the controller to get it out of ESS left. I think that's good. Barely. Ah. Didn't like resituate myself in the right spot yet. I feel like that's one thing that's really hard to get better to be faster at the menu. I'm resetting. I hate uh I hate when I go back in the crawl space. Like, it's so bad. Like, sometimes it behaves normal. Sometimes it does not. Weird roll first. Definitely slow. I was walking slightly back, or I was walking slightly back and left that whole time, I didn't even realize. I realized once the camera angle was kind of weird. Dang. I was trying to get the roll set up for YOLO escape, but I don't know how to do YOLO escape, and I'm also bad at... Uh, flipping here with sword. Thank <laughs> you. 
made it. Cool. I had my doubts about that jump slash. Pretty sure that I just stepped and it messed up my ankle. Like, dude, come on. I am. The last two Wes's I got were this, like, extremely high ESS position. I even split a bit early on that. I was expecting something bad to happen during that cucko. Even though that one's usually pretty okay. I was gonna turn around and backwalk, but then my angle got screwed up. holding up but my controller somehow was registering slightly left so that happened cool trying to roll but I targeted before I rolled so I side up it was kind of funny
I'm not supposed to turn left there. My controller did that. Normally what you do is just the four side hops left and then the vertical or horizontal slash. Dude, I wasn't even close to the vines. What the heck? That one didn't even give me a chance to try. Get the text. <laughs> Missed the side up. I don't know why I was like kind of worried about the scrub like ducking inside of its little thing for some reason. Ooh. Almost jumped off. Too early. What the heck is that? Give me the wall angle, please. I feel like, is that the right angle? I can't even tell. Yeah. sideways roll <laughs> bro I don't understand it's so bad I'm holding straight up and I went sideways wait I can't use that all right I think I'm gonna go for one more time getting into Deku tree and that'll be it. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. I need, uh... I just need the controller to cooperate. Slightly. I didn't realize how, uh... When I chose my title that I was gonna do today, I didn't realize how much I was actually gonna be fighting the controller. It's like way more than I even expected. Yeah, 
I just tried to ESS left there. That was annoying. Just coming out of the crawl space when I wasn't touching it, it tried to mess me up. I don't know why. Sometimes I just do too many side ups there. I'm not fully paying attention. conservation thing through the transitions. I really only hate it when I like completely stop my momentum when I shouldn't. When I shouldn't do that. Because that was my fault. I like rolled at a weird time. My split button was for a sec. Mindlessly mashing B. I was looking at the B down on the bottom of the screen instead of <laughs> paying attention to what I was doing. Damn it. Don't be holding ESS left, Jesus Christ. Bro. I was trying to get the game to not register being holding ESS left so I wouldn't turn as soon as the transition stopped happening like I, I let go of the stick it's just registering 30 dude leave me alone what the fuck There's literally no way that, like, I send this back to those people and they tell me that there's no stick thrift, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. I mean, I was also looking and I saw, uh... I was trying to look, I was like... Can you only return things uh, wait, that you buy from eBay after 30 days or like get refunds? Uh, and the answer was basically yes, but you can also file a claim with like however you paid. Because if they try to make me pay for this and then they like don't fix it, or they say that there's no issues with it when they get it and then won't send it back or something. File a claim order from a new seller, yeah. But I think I said, it's really weird. Like, I think it's like Retro Games Japan or something. They're like a big seller, and I think it said, when I looked at their profile, I think it said they've been on there. Yeah, that's what I find weird. Like, I feel like when I was looking at them, they should be okay. I think they've been a seller on eBay since like 2004. 
that sounds like what you used. Yeah, and all the reviews are good. That's what shocked me the most. Like, I, I looked to see if there were any negative reviews, and there are zero negative reviews, which seems slightly suspicious to me, because there's always that, like, one negative review that happens of people being like, they wanted a refund or something, and they didn't get it because the controller worked or something, I don't know. Usually, there's definitely dumb people that write negative reviews about stuff. I feel like I never review things ever. This is the only time I've ever even thought about it. Damn it, dude. I'm wondering if I even have to turn around or not, or if I can jump and hold forward. Like, I don't want to try it, but to get that red rupee with that, like, backup, I mean. Because what you're doing, at least in the setup for the Ganonless way of doing it with the stick, or when you don't have sword, is when you're mashing B, then you let go of a target in the middle, then you grab to like the good spot to like side hop, but you flick up. So you're like, back is facing to where you just came from. Oops. So your back is facing where you just came from, and then you side hop, and you hold back. So I'm wondering if you can do it the opposite way. Be looking towards where you came from, and hold forward, because it's to mess with your position in the water, I think. Like the way you recover in the water, in what direction or something. So technically, I think it would make sense if it would work that way. <laughs> I think the only reason you flick forward is because you're not lined up the other way. That could make sense too. Flicking backwards is just easier in that situation, maybe. And that's why that was how it said to do it. Yeah, it says they're used controllers, but they it says something about like fixing the sticks, I believe. Cause that was the point. Don't ever buy used or refurbished. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was thinking refurbish would be fine, but I have no idea. All I knew was I should get an actual GameCube controller. But yeah, I'm still gonna send it back to them, have them fix the stick, and then they'll send it back to me, I guess. Oop, I didn't split. which basically means someone in their quality control tested it. Yeah. I don't actually know. I think the only thing that... The only thing I think I cared about was the fact that it said something about making sure the sticks were fine, which they're not. But that makes sense about <laughs> refurbished.
Like, I know the stick is probably the most important part. Like, if they tested all the other buttons and they all work, and then the stick was fine, like, that would work. All the other buttons are pretty easy to just press them and then they work. Okay, cool. Of course, they'd say the stick is good, yeah. Which is why... Maybe I should just go for the refund route anyway. Not even bother. I don't think this is going to work. This might work. You'd recommend it? What, just trying to get a refund instead? Or like... I paid with a credit card. I think it's easier with PayPal to... get the money back. Yeah. I just have to like contact my card... company and be like... Hey, I got scammed. <laughs> PayPal, yeah. I might use PayPal from now on, uh, on eBay, just because of this. You hate PayPal? No, I didn't use PayPal, but I think that in this situation it would make it easier. Because from what I was reading, it was I think it was sellers complaining about people getting refunds by like putting in a claim to PayPal since eBay was past the 30 days, but with PayPal you can do it for like 90 or something. 60 or 90? I don't remember. One of the two. But uh, basically they would not be able to get a refund through eBay, so they would just go to PayPal and be like, this purchase wasn't what it said it was, so I would like to have my money back. Then PayPal pretty much always agrees with the buyer, they said. PayPal sucks to fight stuff. Yeah, but apparently they... You lost $600 once? Jeez. Yeah, I've, like, literally never used PayPal for, like, much at all. I don't even remember why I created my PayPal account. But I do have one. <laughs> I don't remember the initial reason. Can this other cuckoo come back? Almost dropped that one out of the pen. But six hundred dollars is a lot. Was it on like one purchase or something like a couple purchases? Dude, can pick pick up goddamn chicken. Jesus. Yeah. I assume the yeah, I was on the one purchase because that's what I said first. <laughs> a gift for your wife, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. Those those kinds of gifts are usually expensive. Are both of these cuckoos like here? Right. Hopefully that goes far enough. Better than it would have been. Never received it. If I said fuck you, man. Yeah, that would annoy me a lot. But did you buy it? How'd you buy it? Through like eBay or something? contact basically yeah okay yeah I don't I don't remember why I made my PayPal but I think it was actually a similar purchase Etsy though oh Etsy was like where you actually bought it from like someone on there Damn it. I really hate when I miss doing the jump slash and do like a forward thrust.
Still around at the but met on Twitter. That makes sense. Yeah, that would be super annoying not receiving it and then PayPal's like don't believe you. I think I saw that also while I was searching for the uh, like the refund stuff. Can I like what the fuck? I targeted the wall. Look left, targeted the wall, then I turned even further left because of the stupid ass controller. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> the more I'm playing with the controller, I'm definitely... They knew what they were doing by waiting X number of days, yeah. Like, that's why I'm annoyed by, uh... This controller. I feel like it was in good enough working condition to last for, like, a month. And then, past the return date, you can't do anything about it. Not even a month, because I don't think I was using it for that whole time. I think it was more like three weeks. Dude, what the fuck, man? It's still registering what is happening. To be honest, the worst part is you've seen them turn around. Seen them around in person from time to time? Jeez. So was it like a local person? That's kind of crazy. I'm just thinking it's crazy if you met them through Twitter and bought something for them uh, and then they also just happen to be like in your area that seems like a really strange like thing like a weird coincidence here for it's a community that doesn't mean they have to be near you though right so you see them around ah I got scared. And I, I'm, I'm really trying to get like a damage boost up here. I don't even think it's a good idea, but I don't know if it's possible or not. But I'm confused about how you met him through Twitter. Did you meet him through Twitter because of the community? Yeah, I would have just shy up here and there. Weird. Damn it, dude. I just completely missed the, the side hop. I was gonna say side slash, but that's not what I was talking about. Commission to make 3D models. Okay. Okay. There's no shot that shouldn't have worked. Literally, no way. I almost forgot what I was doing. I took a uh, I took a small step, I think, to the left. So, who knows if this will work? Yeah. And they took the money and kind of ran, but sort of apologized. <laughs> sort of apologized. Do they, like, actually make stuff? But then they just, like, for some reason decided not to make yours? He offered to send them sculpts. 
and then they ran again. What are sculpts? Or sculpt? Oh, sculpts. Okay, I just read it wrong. <laughs> I understand. Can I not ESS turn, please? Like, this setup is, like, super easy. And I just can't even do it because the damn controller won't let me. <sighs> okay, that's enough of that. Alright. I'll probably end there, because it's too frustrating to actually try to keep going. But yeah, that's really weird. But so, like, have you actually seen stuff they made before? I'm also looking to see who I feel like raiding. Yeah, and have met them at IRL, it's odd. Yeah, I think that's like the weirdest thing, is that you've seen stuff they've made, you've met them IRL, and then they still like, haven't fixed it. Like, I feel like a normal person would fix that mistake. It's not like they're gone, yeah. I don't know what Marcus is doing, but we're gonna raid Marcus, because I haven't raided him in a long time. Uh, looks like he's doing a rando. Nice. You're trying to forgive. Yeah. Yeah, which is like entirely up to you. I definitely, I would not be the kind of person who'd be like, yes, I'll forgive that. I would definitely be like, I'm pissed and I hate you. Or like, if they fixed it, then I would be like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> like, if, as long as you fix it, I can get over it. But if they don't fix it, it's kind of just like, I don't know. I doubt how I doubt how good they are as a person. <laughs> but all right, I'll probably I'll probably run Hollow Knight <laughs> while I'm trying to sort out controller things. Uh, so that's what I'll do tomorrow, and then I'm not sure. I'll, I'm still trying to get back to consistently streaming like I was, but you know. <laughs> struggling. Let's go wish Marcus some good luck. Uh, those are the raid messages. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.